You know, I read somewhere that it's practically mandatory to play a 3D or 2D Sonic game if you have a YouTube Let's Play channel. And seeing as I technically have one of those, I decided why not. I'll play some Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Entirely new save file, to be precise. But um, after I complete this game, there will be something very special at the end of it all. So I hope you stay tuned for that, and I hope you stay tuned for this lovely gameplay of some Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut for the Nintendo GameCube. Let's get right into it, shall we? Adventure! And of course, seeing as this is a new save file, we have to be good old Sonic the Hedgehog game. Let's get him, Let's get him indeed, Sonic. Oh, this is going to be fun. Station Square Adventure Field. This is going to be a blast. I haven't played this game in so long. All I remember is that the audio bounce is terrible, but it has some awesome, in my opinion, awesome, like, cock metal rock music. You'll see probably right here, because I remember this. Sonic runs on the buildings, right? Oh yeah. Oh, this is awesome. This is, this hasn't aged well at all. But, but I still love it. And you know what's strange too? This was the first Sonic game for the Sega Dreamcast, right? And right at the beginning of the game, they throw you into a boss fight. That's right, a boss fight. Are you serious? It's like, people who bought this game had no idea how the controls worked, and they were thrown right into a boss fight. No, no tutorial. Well, you can do a tutorial, but there's no level to start you off with. It's just, yep, this is the demon thing. You're going to be fighting for the game. You're going to have to fight it a lot. Get in there. You'll, you'll learn the controls. Don't worry about it. The bad thing? Yeah, kind of. But still. Why not, right? Oh, the voice acting is terrible, too. Oh, no! Our weapons are useless! <laughs> Sonic. Him is Ryan... What is it? Ryan Drummond? Voice actor? Oh, yeah! A lot of people consider him to be the best Sonic, but, uh... He was good. He was good. I do think that Roger Craig Smith is doing a fantastic job as Sonic. And, uh, yeah, don't get, don't think this is going to be one of those terrible, well, it might be a terrible playthrough, but these are the games I kind of excel at, is, um, platform games. I'll admit, I'm decent at fighting games, shooter games are my weak point, platform games, I'm usually, that's my strong point. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. 24 seconds, can you believe that? And this will not be a 100% playthrough. Because I am not gathering all... Oh, how many emblems is it? And then the mission mode and all that? No. It's going to be a story mode. And then... Come on, you big drip. After I'm finished... Where are you going? <laughs> after I'm finished story mode, I'll have a little special thing after that. Come on, you big drip. So... I hope you enjoy this upcoming Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut playthrough. And we get Eggman, right? Yes. You know nothing, fool. I used to have it's the comic book adaptation of, of this game. And the art was pretty awesome, like seeing Eggman actually standing there, arms crossed in the rain, and he's all like, Yeah, it's chaos, god of destruction. <laughs> And yes, you'll be hearing me call him Eggman. I know he's de technically named Dr. Ivil Robotnik, but it's Dr. Ivil huh? Eggman, as in Eggman is his nickname, Robotnik. What? And I grew up calling him Robotnik, but ever since I played this game, I started calling him Eggman just because, eh, it, 
it just started to grow on me. And saying Eggman is slightly easier to say than saying Robotnik all the time. Now, why did I choose this Sonic game to start off with? Because I said I would have done a um, Genesis game, but apparently my game capture is having a hard time capturing Genesis footage. So, we're going to start off with what I consider to be, well, the one of the better 3D Sonic games. Oh, wow. Okay, apparently uh, the homing attack doesn't work as I thought it did. But yes, here we are. Emerald Coast. The level that's basically sold everybody on the Dreamcast. Apparently, I am terrible at this game. Bouncing all over the place. Okay, no more mistakes. Let's go. Woohoo! This is also... It's funny that this game came out on the GameCube after Sonic Adventure 2. Because it was Sonic Adventure 2 first, and then they made this for the GameCube. After, you know... Sega stop with the whole. Yeah, we're not gonna be. Oh wow! I've never had that happen to me before, ever. This is gonna be fun. We're starting off great already. Said, if you have a YouTube channel, you are mandatory to play a Sonic game. And no, I won't be bashing this game. I actually love this game. It is part of my childhood. But yes, right here, this is what sold people to get this game. This commercial, I remember seeing Sonic running from a whale. I was always like, he's running from the whale. Damn. Say so he was running from free will, actually. It's a terrible joke right now. Music is great in this game, too. Are you? Are you? So you don't even have to jump there. There's a wind that blows you up, I believe. Okay. All right. About to say, why can't I move there? But it's been a long time since I played this. And I'd say I haven't lost a step yet, but apparently I have no idea where glitches are. Give me that. Thank you. Yeah, Sonic's top speed. You gotta go. You gotta go fast. Could have sworn he ran ten times faster than this, and I fell down. There we go. Come on, Sonic! We gotta rescue the Tails. He's... He's knocked out, apparently. But you know, when you crash a plane, you don't just die. If you crash horribly, you just get knocked out. Oh, this game hasn't aged well at all. <laughs> Jump on panel number one, it'll take it to panel two and three and one and so on. Or else you'll fall. I remember that. Oh, the audio bouncing in this game is terrible. You hear the music and then they're talking over the music, but the music is just ten times louder. Oh yeah, I totally forgot too that we're going to be hearing characters' theme songs a lot. You're going to be hearing Sonic's theme song 90 times, Tails' theme song 90 times, everybody's theme song is just going to keep rocking. Yeah, not bad. And by the way, I'm not going to be doing any Chow Garden stuff too. As much as I loved the Chow Garden growing up, I'm not doing it. Right, so we saved Tails. whoop de dee doo Tails. Hey, as we're just strolling around to Tails' fabulous okay. theme of believing in himself. He wants to fly high, and I never understood how he could fly with his tails, but seeing as how they're moving right now, apparently, uh, yeah, they wouldn't get all tangled up when he flies. They just spin around like that. Huh. Ta-da! I just pulled this out of nowhere! <laughs> Oh, the facial expressions in this game, too. Oh, and Tails has had so many different voice actors and actresses. Like, they had, like, a seven-year-old do his voice in this or something. And you could tell. But that... You, you can't even hear the voice actors. Thank God they had subtitles for this game. You gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic. You have to take the train to the Mystic Ruins. 
Right. I think now would be a great time. Now I can play as Tails. That's great. Ooh, nice camera control. Now would be a great time to end this video. And I will see you in the next video of Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. My name is Clint Roth. Stay tuned for some more.